video. So why were people in the Capitol this week? I mean, people have been trying. They've still been trying. So also wear a mask, please. Mm-hmm. We're in a pandemic. We're going to fall out after that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we'll get there. We won't get there though. So yep. that's how we getting started on, on this Monday night. Y'all listening to Tuesday. We back with the community mm-hmm. coalition show. What's good, gang gang? David 2K. And if y'all are watching and if y'all are listening to this, we have a very, very, very special guest. Absolutely. I don't even know if I can even do this justice. By the way, I yeah. that's who we got going tonight, y'all. We got the this one. I, you know, I, I'm excited. I think this is going to be fun. Um, Me too. But again, what's going on? I want you to let the people know who are you, what you got going on, because <laughs> it's a lot. You got some good stuff going on for real. So I want people. Right. Well, first off, thank you so much for having me. <laughs> This is um, very exciting. I'm glad to be here. So thank you. Um, I am Empress Bianca. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, Empress Bianca or AKA Z Empress. <laughs> Ooh, um, okay. Yes, I am. Um, I do a lot of things, honestly. But to be honest with you, I really go for my passion. Um, my number one goal in life is to do what makes me happy. And um, it took me a while to get there, to be honest with you. But um, once I found my niche, my passion, you know, what I'm really good at naturally and that I can make a career out of, I just really went for it. Um, So I have two businesses actually that I'm working on, one in which is launching this Sunday, uh, Pure Romance by Empress Bianca. Um, That business, I pretty much, I am a trained consultant and I do educate people on sexual health, wellness, and in- intimacy. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of people may, you know, look at the face of the company as like, oh, they sell sex toys, <laughs> which don't get me wrong, we do, but it's definitely deeper than that. Um, educating somebody on, you know, um, a product that would be good for them and their intimate situation mm-hmm. um, really is important because a lot of people don't know how to do that for themselves. Um, so I help people not only with that, but also, you know, um, letting them know how to um, properly use things, clean them, store them, um, you know, and whatnot. It's very important. It is, especially when you have little ones and, you know, animals around the house. People don't think about those things. So, so yeah, we do the whole, the whole 360 shebang, 180, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, you're talking to two guys, even though I like to think I'm an enlightened man. But you know, you're in touch with your feminine side. I try to be. You know, I try to. Be. <laughs> I think you to be at the end of the day. You know. Right. Yeah. So when when I when I hear you know when I hear sexual things, sexual health things like that, mm-hmm. um, that's also the psychologist, the psychology major in me as well too. Like I I, under, I hear the mental aspect, especially that's right. the first thing kind of jumps out when it comes to you know, sex and sexuality and things like that. And I think most people, they, they see the physical first, you mm-hmm. know? So I kind of get that a little bit, but I'm just, I'm always curious. Like, so I'm going to backtrack a little bit because okay. I, I, I'm curious, how did you, how did you get there? You said your passions and things like that. I know you're a consultant, but I know as a fellow consultant as well too, you know, you, you kind of got you there at some point, like, you know, right. why did you start there? What, what got you down this path to really want to help people with this? Of course, of course. Uh, well, it definitely wasn't an overnight thing. It was something that I had to learn that I was comfortable with myself. Um, it started with, you know, just me being so free with how I express my body through the art of dance, um, which kind of rolls into like my second business that I have that will be launching this summer. Um, but what I realized is that, you know, to even perform, man or woman, it takes confidence. It really just does. To to appear in front of people and perform whatever it is that you have, even if you're not good at it, it takes confidence. And I really realized that, you know, how confident of a woman that I am um, and how long it took me to get there. Um, so pretty much I just incorporated, you know, things such as dance and um, a couple of beauty products. Um, natural things like, um, you know, 
perfume and waist beads or whatnot that naturally just makes a woman feel good and whatnot. And after doing, after entertaining, I should say, not doing, but after just entertaining for so long and, you know, um, discovering that you're really good at something, you know, I kind of just figured I'd take it to the next level and see how I can, you know, make a career out of it. Um, Pure Romance was actually brought to my attention by a another, another consultant who simply just wanted to, you know, um, educate me. And from there, I was just like, you know what, I would love to do this too. It kind of just feels like something that's meant for me, you know? So. Yeah. yeah. I told you, I get that, you know, because first of all, you're playing off what you know and you're good at stuff like that. But I want to go back to confidence, you know, that I found so many people think they're confident they're really not at the end of the day. You know, sometimes we have that fake social media confidence and right, 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 right. Behind certain things and we can kind of get by. But like you said, when you're getting in front of people, I don't care what you're doing. Mm-hmm. Truth tends to come out. Right. Like public speaking is dancing. I don't care if you play sports. When you're in front of exactly. people, it comes out, you know, at the end of the day. Yeah. Like, I think that it's, and it's, and it's do, you, do you feel like that's something that can be taught or do you feel like that's something you already have to have in um, to be honest with you, that's a good question. That is a good question. I just remember as a little girl always having it in me, I guess. Yeah. Um, Same here. I guess it's I guess it's just something that maybe it was always in you, but never always came out. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I, I guess it's either meant for you or it's not. You know, you kind of can't. Right. You know. Yeah. And then, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I feel like that's real. And I even think like, again, as a man, I truly feel like I, you know, one I'll never understand, but like to me, to be a woman, to be a black woman in this world, yeah, is the hardest thing. You know, like absolutely, one of the most beautiful people in the world, mm-hmm. and you know, the most hated people in the world. You know, the so most the- disrespected. Disrespected the whole night, you know what I'm saying? Like, so where do you draw from? You know what I'm saying? Like that confidence. Like to me, I look at black women, I'm just like, damn, how does she keep going some days? You know what I'm saying? Like, where does that come from? I know what it's like for us. Like, you know, I I can feel that, but like to me, I, I you know, I just I want you to speak on that because it's something that really my heart sometimes just like. Like, how, how, I just, and I've always tried to understand how does that work, you know, for black women? Yeah, Um, you know, I really, I personally, I have my own um, testimony and I can tell you right now, it's it's definitely heartfelt. I've been through so much. I can't speak for every specific black woman, but I'll tell you what you said, as far as it not being easy, it's really not. I mean, it's, it's just been so many, stereotypes and and just everything that just you know a black woman has to even deal with just just growing up as a, as a little black girl is harsh you know um personally i what keeps me going is my faith and not only god but my children as well i became a, a mother young and you know i do not allow the statistics of being a teen mom defeat me um i didn't let it um define me, if that makes sense. Yeah. I actually made the best out of it. It actually changed my life, to be honest with you. Um, I could have been dead or in jail by now if it wasn't for my children because they allowed me to slow my thinking down. I had so much more to think about um, when you know I had a child. And um, I would definitely say um, it's, a, it's a daily battle, you know? Um, a lot of things that don't go that doesn't go um, spoken. I'm sorry. <laughs> a lot of things that people don't speak about too is mental health, and um, I feel like that really ties deeply with our black community in general, yeah. not just yeah. black women, but just our black community in general, mm-hmm. and um, especially our black mothers as well. Right. And um, no one really talks about you know what happens after you have a baby and whatnot, and, and no one really expects that. And I think it's just really important to bring awareness to, to all of that. Um, I like to believe that life is really just a big mentality. It's how you, it's how you like to play it out, you know? Um, I like to believe if you want something bad enough, you'll get it by just going for it. As long as it's legal, you know, you can get it. Yeah. And 
Yeah. So, um, yeah, and I, I didn't want to be such a downer, but I, I wanted to know, plus also, even if, you know, people, if y'all get a chance, follow on IG, social media, if you follow the Empress, you see a complete confident woman. You know what I'm saying? That was the first thing I, I was I was drawn to and I was like, damn, she's doing her thing, you know? And so I appreciated that. So when I every every time I see a black woman doing anything, I gotta acknowledge that. I gotta yeah. say. Amen. I know there's a story, but I at least gotta say, you're doing your thing, you know? So right. from the black man side, we see it, I see it. I know we, me and David talked about it, we see it. So, yeah. you know, because it is, you know, it's so to do all of that and then to be able to reach back and educate people on this stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Even on, on a topic, and that's what I want to get into too, on a topic that not everybody's comfortable with. You know, mm -hmm. and it's very taboo. Yeah, I spoke on this last night on another podcast, on one of our other podcasts, and it was talking about, you know, sometimes like we live in a real world and not everyone understands all aspects of this world. So, especially when you talk about like sexuality, expressing mm -hmm. sexuality, you know, especially even in a black community, we think people are a little bit more open. Yeah. So there are a lot of conservative people. Yeah. Right. Like how how do you I guess what I'm talking about is especially we're talking about like you working with people. What, what does that look like in business? So how are you working with people? What are you doing with them? Like what, what does that look like service wise? Um honestly, um it depends on what kind of service you're getting from me. <laughs> because again, so, I do offer two different um types of business. Yeah. But sticking with pure romance, um, it is more so of a um, uh, still releasing that, you know, that, that, that confidence to allow, you know, the, the customer or the, whoever's being consulted to be comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, um, not as explicit, if, if that makes sense. Excuse me, I'm just a little nervous. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's all good. So if I were to court somebody would I be able to come to you for advice or yeah actually that is my question like dating and courtship stuff like that mm -hmm. yeah yeah you know like when it, when it comes to sexual sexual health and intimacy I can certainly give you advice on that um of course I'm no you know therapist <laughs> okay. um so I, I don't know if I'll be able to fix any relationships however um I am trained on you know giving you the best knowledge as far as um you know how to properly um and safely go about um you know exploring um your sexual life <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay. um, cool and, and I'm asking this too, especially talking about the black community. Have have you have you had a lot of men, black men, approach, ask questions, or is it more women? Um, it is more female dominated. I would say more so because men. It's just more so natural for men to be a little hesitant to even really, um, let's say step outside of their ego <laughs> to to really even want to you know let it be known that they're curious um but thankfully you know the women are, are great they take care of their men and um even some take care of their family <laughs> so you know it depends on the individual you know if you're open enough with your family you know yeah brother stop being scared you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's gotcha. definitely no reason to be scared at all um mm -hmm. honestly you know sex is something that's just really natural you know it's in it's in right almost everyone's lives <laughs> so um there should be no shame in talking about it and wanting to explore it in the most you know comfortable way you possibly can yeah Absolutely. big facts like everybody wants sex i'm, I'm keeping i'm keeping it 100 like, i'm going there like everybody loves sex everybody wants to have it everybody's pursuing it at some point in time in your life you know what i'm saying so mm -hmm. right. why not want to be the best at it why not want to learn about it you know, yeah. that's the one thing, like, I'm, I'm tired of the Black community. I'm tired of this whole taboo stuff. No, get over it. Like, mm -hmm. the more you're in tune with yourself, the better off you'll be. Right. Mm -hmm. Because, right. especially since, like, this can make or break your relationship. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah there's, there's statistics that it's just a known thing that it's natural for women to fake it. You know, that big 
moment, it's natural to be fake just because, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of women don't even know what an orgasm feels like. So, um, you know, I also help with that, you know, helping them reach that point and which for many, it's the first time. So, wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say some men fake it too sometimes. Um, <laughs> How? How? I was going to say, I have not seen that one yet. But how? Okay. Oh, how? How? I'm, I'm literally like, do you have like a water bottle with you? A like, water bottle? What are you, what are you doing? Like, how? Right. So here we go. We, community Coalition Show. Another story. <laughs> um, as a man, sometimes you get tired. Sometimes it takes a while to orgasm. And so sometimes you fake it to get it over with. Sometimes you're not over sexually stimulated. You know, like, look. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so we being honest. I, yeah, I've gone there before. Like, sometimes I'm like, it happens. So yeah. no man wants to talk about it. I'll say it. I'll be the first mm-hmm. one out there. You know? Okay. But, but I say that to say, like, I think, I think this is one of those things. Like, if I had had that conversation, young me, you know, like, I would have loved to have that conversation. Like, what am I doing wrong? Because sometimes, again, I know probably from the female side, you get that too. Like, is it mm-hmm. me? Did I do something wrong? Like, you know, like, is it something wrong? The connection? Like, I think everything is good. But we don't know. We don't know. So, right. yeah. So, you know, I'm, I'm curious. So, like, and I ain't trying to put nobody business out there, but when women come to you, mm-hmm. you know, what are some of the questions they're asking? Are they asking, like, I've never orgasmed or... You know, what, what are we doing in bed? Are they asking for, like, techniques? Are they asking for, like, things to get them in the mood? What is, like, mm-hmm. what is- of course, of course. Well, um, honestly, it depends on the woman. But some of the common questions are, like, you know, what can I do to get to that point of no mm-hmm. return? Um, and, <laughs> <laughs> um, what can I do to, you know, um, spice up things for my partner? You know, mm-hmm. um, typically, um, a lot of times I find actually that it's not just, you know, self-stimulation. It's about, you know, how can I help stimulate my partner a little better or right. help them get to that big O. Um, you know, that's really important in relationships too. Yeah. And then a lot of times um, I have people ask me, well, I want to try something different, you know. Um, or trying something new. Yeah, try something different that I've never tried before. Um, what do you, you know, what do you suggest? And there's there's so many different things for everyone out there, including like bondage and role play stuff. So, you know, it can get fun, you know, too. Mm-hmm. So, you know, spicing up the bedroom and different types of ways um, um, is, is fun for me personally, <laughs> which is which is why I have so much fun doing this and, you know, helping others. I appreciate mm-hmm. you saying that. I do. Mm-hmm. Right. But sometimes, like I said, sometimes people want to, like we do all stuff behind closed doors. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I, just, I, just, I just wish people weren't so taboo about it. I just, yeah. I wish this wasn't such a thing that was just so hard to talk about. So mm-hmm. that's why I appreciate this conversation. I appreciate it. Sometimes we need to say it to let people know that it's okay. Mm-hmm. It's tied up. It's it okay. really is. It really yeah. is. Do you, do you see this bed? It is okay. <laughs> also, it's why okay. wouldn't you want to help your partner exactly. feel good? And and that's right. the other thing too. I wonder if men. I wonder if it goes back to the ego thing. You know, mm-hmm. like because okay, I go back to remember the old con. We were younger. Guy talk. Mm-hmm. Guy talk for men. I always say this: for men for men, sex is it's the act. You get to that point of climax, you're done. You know what I'm saying? It's good. Yeah. It, it's not a, it's a, it's a straight shot, you know? Like, you're going to bust my nut, good. Like, but that's for us. Exactly. For her, right. it's more complicated. Exactly. So men don't take the time to learn that part because for us, it's so linear. It is very, mm-hmm. linear, you know? But we don't, exactly. we don't understand the woman's aspect of where a lot of it can be mental. It can be a lot of sensuality, sometimes a lot of sensitive. Mm-hmm. Even things from like smells and touches and things like that. Like, right. Yeah. Oh, I know a little bit. I know a little something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now. <laughs> um, Not everything is binary. No, but but that's the thing. So it's like it takes. That's why, like, I'm 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 really excited for what you're doing. I really am, because I want this to happen. I've seen this. I my boys, my little homies, I talk to. It's the same dry ass sex talk. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, I'm being real. So, no, nah, you're right. Yeah, like you know, David, we talking to our boy, and, and it's it's conquest. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, but it's not about sustainability. Right. 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 Ooh. Yeah, you know, but that might have that was a bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was You're the bar. You're absolutely right, though. You are absolutely right. You couldn't have said it any better, honestly. Yeah. So I just see it. I remember when I was a young as a young man, it took time to learn it. And once I learned the light bulb went off, I was like, oh damn, there's a whole nother like level to this. Mm-hmm. That was fun. And there are levels. Yeah, there's levels. Yeah. Um, so Empress, like, again, I don't know how, I don't want to dig too, too deep in, like, other people, but, like, you know, um, is this something that you see it's catching more and more steam? I, I guess, because, like, you said you've gone from, like, a consultant, and now you're really launching this full-fledged business with this. So, like, Correct. this is something that you saw. This is a this is something that's become a track, and you see, are you seeing more and more people I want this education at a learning. Yes, yeah, yes, I am. It's actually it. it's, exactly. Not only is there a huge market for it, but um, people really do enjoy the one-on-one. You know, um, being able to consult with someone who knows what they're talking about and not have to pay for it. <laughs> you know, like to mm-hmm. to freely consult with someone whose job it is to to openly talk to you about sex <laughs> and um, the importance behind it. Um, is I think is one of the most fruit, fruitful benefits um, that my customers have found, you know. Um, actually, you know, again, not to, you know, put anyone out there or whatnot, but I just reconnected with someone from school, you know, middle school, old friend or whatnot. And man, she's like, she wears a halo over her head. You would never even think that she would even want anything to do with sex. And Boy, I tell you, I was completely shocked with the things she was telling me that she was interested in. And it's just like, well, you just, you never really know what a person's thinking about, what they want to try, you know, or problems they've had in the past or whatnot, or even just, you know, things to help keep the momentum going. Maybe there's nothing wrong at all. And they're just like, oh, (laughs) you know, I'm alone. (laughs) So It's always the quiet ones. Yeah. It is always the quiet ones, exactly, because, you know, I, I, I was a little <laughs> honor student in school, you know, you know, a little nerd, so oh. a lot of people didn't get it from me either. They're like, what mm. will be? Oh! <laughs> mm. I was not an honor student, and I'm going to just leave that right there. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to say I was a little bit of both. I was a little balanced. I had some, you know, I was, a, I was an honor student, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna leave it. Um, well, I, not that, not that you putting your truth out there. I, I, you know, I definitely just already said if it wasn't for my children, I'd be dead or in jail. So we definitely know I have some balance too. Yeah. <laughs> like we said, there's there's levels to this. Exactly. <laughs> but I think that's just part of exploration too. Like you know, and yeah, so. All right, so I know you're doing a consultation and that, you know, that seems to be, I like that wonderful thing. Um, but I know you're also talking about like toys and things like that. Um, again, I'm putting this out there for people that are watching and are listening. You know, okay. like when you say toys, what exactly are you referring to? I might know, but I just want to get that out there for people who may not. Of course. Uh, oh, well. Um. <laughs> When I say toys, it can really mean a lot of things. It can mean anything to stimulate the G-spot, the clitoris, um, um, anal, um, both the G-spot and the clitoris at the same time, um, masturbation, sleeves. Um, there's so many different things. <laughs> and that would be the purpose of consulting because there's, like, there's things that prior to even discovering pre romance, I never even knew about and I was just wowed and to the point where I was just like I think I want to try that you know so so there's there's so much um to stimulate all over um not necessarily just those particular spots either all over the body because as we all know it starts with foreplay right you know it starts up here so if you're not into it up here you gotta find what's right for you exactly your body's not even going to be ready if you're not up for it up here Oh. especially yeah women like i said it's such a it could be such a mental thing you know so mm-hmm. um 
to get them to ask this question again. Don't kill me, fellas, but have you found a lot of things, toys, and stuff for men? Um, I'm sorry. Can you ask it again? I said, do you, have you found or do you see men exploring toys? You know. Um, to be honest with you, no, yeah. I don't. Not yet, anyway, because I'm so new in the business. It's really mm -hmm. been dominantly women. What I have found out are that um, women want to help their men. Mm -hmm. um, they want to make him feel like he is on cloud nine, you know, and who wouldn't, if you love your partner, right. who wouldn't want you, you know, their partner to feel great. Um, mm -hmm. So I found that, you know, even exactly women what I'm who, saying. exactly. <laughs> so, Can you say that again for the, for the people that might be listening? <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. A, a, a good woman who loves her man wants him to feel great. <laughs> Look, uh, I, I'm, I'm loving this. You know, I'm, I'm taking all these clips and I'm going to use these later. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, exhibit A for my life. <laughs> um, but no. Hopefully y'all are taking notes. Listening. <laughs> Please. So, you know, so I, I think, because I think that's another dope thing too. And I know like, I know I haven't seen too much because I don't explore, you know, like I'm not researching that market, but like, like you said, I know there's a lot of stuff out there, you know? Um, do you find anything more popular than others? Any particular toys that where people gravitate to or um yeah actually yes actually um to be honest with you there's so many different products on the line it's not just sex toys there's like um wellness products um bath and beauty um I actually have one of the best sellers here it's called basic instinct it's a sexual attractant um it's simply just the oil and you you know you rub it on and it's an oil and I love it I love it, love it, love it. It's an oil that blends with your natural body oils and it creates a unique aroma pretty much mm -hmm. of, you know, that only your body gives off. So I'm gonna tell you how good this oil is. My very first customer bought this, okay? As you can see, I have one for myself. <laughs> and I am currently sold out on my personal inventory of this. So mm -hmm. I don't even have any one right now. I have to like uh, put another order in so that I can have it in my inventory. But of course, things are always available on my website. That does not matter. But that's how good this is. It just sold out instantly. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, that's what so it works. Oh, yeah, it works. I tell you right now, if I put it on right now, I'm just going to be like... Yeah, that looks like a cheat code. Huh. <laughs> Dude, that's a cheat code. I know fellas be going fucking I know. Don't like I'd be able to smell her through the computer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's for men and women, too. It's not just the woman product. You know, a man can put it on and it'll work with his natural body oils. And before you know it, he's going to be smelling like a, ooh, ooh. <laughs> how, how much is that? I mean, you got any... <laughs> <laughs> got some, got some private stash. Don't tell nobody. You know, just, yeah. just, don't let me be walking around because I walk around. You know. Da, 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 da. <laughs> See, that's some, stuff like that. I think that's dope, and I think a lot of people don't know about this. When they hear toys, they always think about the actual physical toys and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it goes so deep. See that? You know that? That's cool. I like that. Um, you know, and I just, I think, I think that's cool. You know, so. Yeah. There's also, um, you know, I there's just so much on the product line, not to like kill the little surprise, but you know, there's also things like massage, massage tools. There's just like amazing, like one in particular is a candle. It is specifically made just for massages. There is no actual wax in it, but it's a candle that does burn like wax. And you pour it on um, your um, your partner's body, and you simply massage them with it. And you know, of course, it's, it does the moisturization, all that great stuff. But you know, things like that are so sensual, and people don't think about like if you think about it, how many times have you gotten or given a massage with or by your partner, and it's turned into something a little more than just a massage? That was my mood. <laughs> 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 you know, that was the move back in the day. Yeah, the massage yeah. is the move. Back in mm -hmm. the day, right? Mm -hmm. I know it's the move. I know it's the move. <laughs> move. I was yeah. thinking on that one. If this massage don't work, I gotta go to Plan B. Now, yeah. um, I was saying, like, I like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, 
put me on that list too. I might need like two or three of them. And you know what? I got one right here for you. Yes. Oh. Right here. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I love this. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, man, fellas, I know the ladies mm-hmm. getting on. We got to get on board with this stuff, man. Yeah. I know y'all love this stuff. Like, so like. We got to kill the stigma. Yeah, but like as a woman, like how much do you love when your man gets involved with this stuff? You know, when your partners get involved with you. Like, right. how, how, like. That y'all gotta love that, you know. I find it a lot of women, including myself, we find it exciting to be honest with you to 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 open that part of a mind's man enough to allow um, him to even explore and and just you know men have fun with this too, you know. As, as like you said, they're not they're not admitting it, but they have fun too. And this is something that you know this um, that welcomes everyone. Of, of every background and ethnicity, of course. And um, um, I'm, well, what is the word I want to say? Um, just everyone is welcome, pretty much. Um, every demographic? Every demographic, correct. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Well, correct. Demographic, but also, like, like I said, I know it's a lot of women. Different, do you find a particular age group? Or you you know older younger mix everyone who are you to um, eighteen and up honestly you know it's 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 it is sex at the end of the day and that's important um, yes and I feel like um it's it's a it's a talk for grown mature adults um right. so that honestly the minimum line for that is eighteen so as as a consultant for myself I personally only consult you know eighteen and up yeah right. I just I wanted to ask because I didn't know if it was like the old women trying to get their groove back or was like, you know. Oh, it's all look now. No, no, no. It's not just a young thing. It's not a middle aged thing, and it's not just you know any older people in particular. It is literally everyone. You know, you'd be surprised. Definitely. Right. Yeah. That's important. I want to see my mom out there. Look, man, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I, I've had a friend say that too. <laughs> like, I don't want my mom would be <laughs> I laugh, I joke at the end of the day, but I I'd be like, you know what? I wouldn't eat, I wouldn't even be shocked. I'm just gonna right. say because like, to me, again, everybody needs it. I know everyone needs it. On the phone tomorrow. <laughs> just oh. you no, know, I'm gonna be sending some referrals like hey fam, you need this. <laughs> call them call us some exes, like you need no, let me stop. Um, <laughs> chill out, bro. <laughs> You're gonna get in trouble. I know. I'm gonna get a. I'm gonna get a text message tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but, but no. So you're doing that. That's that's one of your businesses. I want you. Right. To talk, you want to talk about your other businesses? What you got going on there? Sure. Um, my other business is Annalisa's Entertainment and Beauty. Um, it is a business that offers entertainment, dance entertainment services, um, different type of services in three sectors, hype dance services. Um, so I, I'm a natural hype woman. I don't like giving myself labels, but um, mm-hmm. I found that there's just a lot of things that I'm naturally good at and which is why I put it all in the business. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. So there's a hype sector because I find that, you know, if someone was dancing, if they get hyped up, they'll dance more or dance harder or dance to their fullest potential, if that makes sense. Right. So that just happens to me all the time while I'm out. And I'm just naturally, I don't think twice, you know, I see somebody like dance and I'm like, hey. <laughs> yes, hey. yes. And then also I wanted to ask like, would you <laughs> like be working like raves or oh, yeah. like I mean, oh yeah any, any like raves clubs stuff like that exactly yes exactly and i also get on the mic as well so you know if you need an mc a host mm. hey no i'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> i'm your woman though i am definitely i just i love it you know it kind of just goes with the natural enthusiasm so the hype sector is one um the second sector is sensual it is really just you know sexy dancing um you know everything that you would expect from an exotic dancer outside of the actual um stripping itself um and then of course there's what i like to call adult prime but uh, a lot of people are just like what's adult prime is that stripping (laughs) yeah it's stripping (laughs) 
in so many words, it's sensual, which is the clothes being taken off. You know, I can word it so many different ways, but yes, mm-hmm. it is stripping. But what's so unique about it, honestly, is that it's how we do it. You know, it's how we bring it, how we bring the hype, how we bring the sensual, how we bring the adult crime. We're very exquisite, unique, and elite with it. You know, we're not just throwing it out there, giving you any old thing, or we're not, we're not even being average, honestly. We're being very unique. And um, COVID has been like a bittersweet time because of course, you know, nobody can get out and do anything or even experience these moments right now. But I have been planning like nothing, nobody's business. <laughs> and um, I'm really excited um, for the launch this summer. Um, the entertainment part is one part of that business and the beauty part of it, honestly, are all of these sectors that corporate with the entertainment. So um, there will be like a, a small jewelry line that you'll see. Um, I'll be wearing the jewelry or whatnot. Uh, we'll be offering calendars on the line. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, also a fragrance line as well. Um, so we're really excited about that. You know, these are all things that, you know, again, we go back to the confidence that just naturally makes a woman feel confident. And what makes me feel great is, you know, when, when another woman comes to me and, and tells me, you know, how much I personally have inspired her to, you know, reach her fullest potential, that makes me feel good. And another reason that it's made me want to go into this business, because I tell you, especially working the pole, you know, pole dancing and whatnot. I have seen some amazing things in all different types of shapes and sizes. And it is so empowering. I'm telling you, you know, so don't look at me and think, oh, she's skinny. She can do that. No, well, honey. That pole takes core it, strength. Uh, yes. If you believe it, you can achieve it. And I'll tell you that right now. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. It's funny. I was, I was talking about that on, on the other podcast, Dance Your Feet podcast. Shout out. Um, but I spent early years, college years, as a security bouncer in strip clubs, private parties, and stuff. So my perspective is I've seen a lot of that. That's why it doesn't bother me, you know. Um, but when you talk about like there are very good sensual performers, mm-hmm. about you know the word stripper to me is so annoying because people put a mm-hmm. stick on it, but it goes beyond that. Exactly, we're entertainers. It's work. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of work. You know what I'm saying? So I see you, there, there is a difference, y'all. There are good ones. There are some bad ones. Oh, you know? yeah. And like some of the things you were saying as you're talking about, like, you know, it is a package. It's a performance. There's a lot that goes into it. Even talking about like the jewelry things you wear, how you approach it, you know, that is that is a real thing, y'all, you know? And that's one of the things we used to sit and talk about, even with the other, we'd be in the club, we're like, it ain't, she ain't gonna make it, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> one we're like, she got it, you know, like, mm-hmm. so I'm what, like, I see what you guys are saying is that like, you need to have the full package. Yeah. And if you don't have it, you're not going to make it. Yeah. Exactly. There is a difference. This is, you know, I, I look at it. I equate it to like being an athlete. You mm-hmm. practice, you perform, you work out, you got to take care of yourself. You, you train, you know, mm-hmm. sometimes you may have a routine. There's things you can do like, and I'll be honest too. Again, if you go back to your IG page, like, you practice, you're, you're on the pole. Right. And I look at that and I'm like, y'all don't understand that skill, y'all. That is real, legitimate skill. Yeah, it's, absolutely. I did, I did anyone to give it a try without training and see what happens to you. You can <laughs> well, bust your ass on that pole. That's, yeah. Just say, the pole will defeat you if you don't train. <laughs> so I'm glad we're talking about that too, because again, I, I, that's another thing. I, we got to get, we got to get rid of some of these misconceptions these stigmas about what that stereotypes means. there's a lot of stereotypes with this stuff you know yeah. it is a lot of hard ass work you know one and like you said all shapes and sizes i see women you know they dedicate themselves they do it they make it happen it doesn't matter mm-hmm. so like i know i see you put the work in i know that's a lot of work oh um, yeah. yeah so like i want you to talk about that real quickly like how much time do you put into perfecting that craft you know That's a good question. Um, I personally, I train aggressively just because I have a time limit on my goals and I plan on utilizing this in my business. So I don't, you know, I don't have time to take my time at this point. Um, I personally train four days out the week. 
Mm -hmm. um, sometimes five if I, you know, make time for it. But mm -hmm. yes, I have in my planner every week, four days out the week to train. And one day out of that week, I'm training with the professional trainer virtually. Um, so that, you know, um, throughout the week to until the next week, of course, I have something that I'm developing on and I'm not just winging it. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm training aggressively. Um, <clears throat> and I will tell you the process uh, it's been quite a journey. I remember in the beginning, I could not even hold my upper body strength. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's and it's a process. It really is. But you will, once you start to see um, just small growth, um, it's, right. it's definitely encouraging. And it's, it's also been a part of the empowering journey, you know, you know, getting on a pole and and, and flying with physics and gravity, like that's that's a that's like a superpower in a way, you yeah, know? Absolutely. Um, so so yeah, it, it definitely something like again, it's just one of those things, pole dancing and the fragrance and jewelry, it all just kind of just goes with the confidence because it's just like, yes, I'm doing it. You know, this is meant for me. This is my feminine side embracing everything that's meant for me. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, I, I think that's one of the most beautiful things of it. I actually have a question about that. So in the beginning, did you ever bomb? Mm. What do you mean? Did I ever what? So did, was there no response to what you were doing? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. In the beginning, everyone was concerned. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? You're about to strip? You're about to be a stripper and and in the beginning it was only like i literally was just at a dance studio taking classes like like dang i can't learn how to dance on a pole you know um i had really just i've been dancing all of my life but never on a pole mm -hmm. um so i've always been really just good at being um dancing on my feet um i i like to call myself an elite coquettish dancer just because of how i move mm -hmm. um but I figured, you know, it's time to step it up a little bit, especially if I want to, you know, make some real money. So in the beginning, yeah, my family was a little concerned. <laughs> they were like, uh oh, you're about to strip for money? Like, oh, uh. and I'm, you know, trying to tell them, no, I'm going to do it differently. <laughs> but, <you> know, like, <laughs> in the beginning, they don't, they don't see you past that. They don't see it. What are they doing? I see it. They don't see past that. It don't work like that, though. Right. <laughs> so I get that money. Right, exactly. <laughs> that money, you know, be sweet. A couple nights. Mm -hmm. out, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. So did they did they eventually come around? Were they like, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now they're like all in and supportive. Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, what's up. It. That doesn't That's happen. That's great. Yeah, that's what's up. Shout outs to the fam, because, you know, support is, is, is needed sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, them hours, you know, sometimes the long nights. Right. And if some people, you know, do, do what you got to do during the day, it could, you know. Right. It's a skill. You got to put in your 10,000 hours. It's a skill, but not only too, like, that, it's it's not an easy life sometimes, too, because your schedule, mm -hmm. all, you know, it's a lot that goes on, you know, like, so... Again, I appreciate that conversation because I always want people to know that. People don't understand. They think it's just something easy you do. It's fast. Get in, get out. It's fast money. It's a whole nother world. It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. And to be honest with you, you know, there's there's so much negative conversation that goes behind it. But, you know, people don't really um, see the beauty and the passion and why, you know, one who just loves dancing would just like to do it just because they love it. Um, mm -hmm. And all of that, you know, plays a factor. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I'm curious too. So you got a lot going for yourself. Yeah. So how you fighting the men off? Like how you gotta be <laughs> the thick at this point. Like, you know, like what does that look like for you? What's what's the the love life looking like? You know? Um, the ask, love, like, the love. <laughs> <laughs> the love life is currently void. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm so focused on what I'm doing. I found that to be honest with you, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Not sure if you know. I've only been in the DMV area for four and a half years now. So you know things are just a lot different. 
I, when I moved here, it was the cost of living. <laughs> and then once I got over that and caught myself trying to date, I just really realized, yeah, there's more opportunities, more cultures, more things to learn, all that great stuff. But there's mm-hmm. also more negative too, and you got to be careful. So I just haven't found anyone, you know, consistent with their genuinely. Because I found genuinely, but not consistent mm-hmm. with their genuinely, yeah. and that matters too. That's, that's you know? consistent thing with brothers these days huh <laughs> they gonna be consistent so i'm gonna tell y'all now don't don't text me y'all don't dm me ask me a whole bunch of questions like but my boy i know what's gonna happen they gonna see this and i, I can and don't and don't text don't <laughs> and don't message us being all like oh we need our number now oh we need our ig now i'm doing oh. it y'all i'm saying right now that's incorrect <laughs> that's why i asked because i already know i already know what's about to happen so yeah <laughs> which is but that that so that's another frustrating thing. I got a lot of things that frustrate me about some of the stuff. Like okay. so when, when you when you talk when you meet men, like it, they said, they're not consistent. Like how long do you get? You get a month, couple months for you before this falls off, and they you know brothers is not right these days. Um. <laughs> Um, honestly, I'm, I'm a little strict, so, um, I give, I give just enough benefit of the doubt for when I cut you off, I don't feel bad. So, um, honestly, <laughs> no, so, I, that's for real. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's like, I, you, we're all grown. You've, you've had your opportunity to make a stance and, and stick to it. And if you don't, that's on you, you know, next. <laughs> so, okay, here we go. I like this. <laughs> okay. What 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 are, what are some of your hard cutoffs? What are, what are some of the things you just not tolerate? Oh, deal breakers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, whew, that's a good one. Yikes. Um, no ambition or passion. That's such a turn off. It's like, ew. What do you want to do with your life? Swither it away? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> there's something for everyone. I don't give a damn if you inspire to be the garbage man, the garbage, the manager of all the garbage men do that shit, you know, inspire it and Mm -hmm. do it. Um, I feel like everyone should just have goals. You know, it's, there's, if you were the one lucky sperm out of the millions that actually got fertilized and was blessed enough to, to, um, you know, to be produced as an actual human, hell, make something out of it, you know? I like to tell people that it does not matter what it is you want to do, as long as it's legal, go for it. This isn't me personally, but even if you just love having sex for a living, guess what? There's a pornography business industry. Mm-hmm. industry. Go for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you may be frowned upon, <laughs> but hell, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. So right. um, no, no passion or drive or goals is one. That is really probably the number one. <laughs> Um, let me see what else poor hygiene you know it's like mm-hmm. uh, we can all teach each other some things but I'm not going to teach you how to you know <laughs> I'm not going to teach you how to you know um, keep Watch clean that. I guess I don't know I just feel like yeah when it comes to responsibilities that was not that's not my responsibility it should be anyway you know it's like that's the basics of life you know abc right. one two three wash your butt yeah with me okay yeah. <laughs> i was about to say take a shower say, like... <laughs> no no dust all right don't be dusty yeah yeah don't be, mu- uh, don't be dusty don't be musky oh and and disrespect uh respect i should say you know oh, disrespect disrespect is a huge deal breaker for me it's actually probably the number one reason outside of consistency that I'm still single. Um, I personally, and this is just me, like I said, I'm strict. So I personally do get offended easily. You mm-hmm. cannot talk to me all rah rah and crazy. Um, you have to speak to me like a lady because that's what I am. I'm a lady who deserves my respect and I'm going to give that to you automatically without you even having to ask, you know? You're a human being, you deserve respect. I'm a human being, I deserve respect. And that's how, that's how it should be, you know? Um, Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people uh, just don't understand it, you know. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Because I can say, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Or I can say, what up, doe? <laughs> <Let's just> do. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and not necessarily knocking the what up though, but I'm just saying it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, you know, just thinking about how the message is delivered. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm an articulate woman. So, you know, I uh, articulate, another articulate mind is a turn on, you know. <laughs> of course. Um, Absolutely. So being such a confident woman, but also being so in tune with your sexuality, um, how much of a deal breaker is bad sex? Oh, not at all. I mean, to be honest with you, it can be improved. That's that's what that's what businesses like Pure Romance is for. You know, not everybody is good at everything. Come on now. And to be honest with you, um, I don't. I'm going to make this known right now. The whole stigma of size matters. It doesn't. It really doesn't, to be honest with you. I'm a firm believer in knowing how to work your tools, period. Mm -hmm. And not everybody, you know, is born knowing how to work what they got. Um, it, it definitely comes with practice and training. And if you've got a partner patient enough to, you know, work with you through that, it's worth it. True. See, see, tell them. Because, yeah, it's, I don't it's, even know it's, what the, it's not the size of the bus, the motion of the ocean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because no, but that's that's another thing I hear all the time too, and they, they make it such a general thing where it's like you hear all the time size matters, size matters, size matters. But then there's a lot of people that say it can't take it too much. You know what I'm saying? So like, which one is it? And I think it's just for each person. But we made it such a general thing. It's like this cultural thing now. Mm -hmm. Right. Like no. Right. BS. You know. Um. But again, yeah. So I, I'm just curious. So wow. You know. Brother, step your game up. Like, what are we right. doing? What are we doing? We're not, you know, we're not doing. We're not talking to our ladies. That's another thing too. Yeah, like conversation. Oh, yeah, like, oh, yeah. Like, I thought that, David. Is that are you big on conversation? You know, just being able to conversation. Are you a texter? Are you a caller? Which one do you prefer from your your partner? Ooh, that's a good question. You're asking so many good questions tonight. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm going to be real, real G with you. I'm old school. I have an old soul. Like, my soul is like 53. <laughs> you good <know>? to know. <laughs> so I like, I like for a man to really show his interest and jump to the front of the line. Like, if he has the opportunity, if you have my number, that alone is a blessing, you know? Mm -hmm. Use it. Call me. Let me hear your voice. Hear my voice. Let me feel a vibe, you know? Um, yeah, that matters. Texting, I'm a writer too. So I know firsthand that written communication could go wrong like that. Even if mm -hmm. you did not mean anything by it. Don't ever use all caps thinking that's normal. Don't ever use the exclamation mark thinking that's normal. Any little thing. Don't use two dots trying to be normal because that, mm. that can come off as... You, you you have something more to say. You just didn't say it. You feel me? So, no, no, no. I'm seriously, no, but I'm a writer, so I know. That's, that's real. <laughs> it is real. So, I prefer verbal. And then, you know, texting is one of those things that's normal. It's like nothing's wrong with texting, but when you're getting to know somebody and you're trying to show them that you're taking them serious, I find that through verbal conversation. Mm, see, I like all this. I like all this. Mm -hmm. um, so, you would rather that I leave you a voicemail than to send you a text that's funny not necessarily if i see your missed call that alone is fine um you could do both <laughs> okay. get to know get to know if you call i'm not stressing if you left a voicemail or not but you know as long as i see the missed call you don't even have to text but just reaching out in general you know it's mm -hmm. fine I, and even I'm just saying the guy that's texting me every day versus the guy that's making an attempt to call me once a day and texting me, he's he's doing a little better than the guy who's just texting me every day. And I don't because I never get to hear his voice, you know? Right. Let so. us learn. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> please. No, because I think again, this is this is good stuff. Um I mean, how do you feel? I'm I'm throwing things out there now too, like I mean the pandemic. Okay. Everybody's in the house now. Right. Like, what is what is that looking like for the dating life, seeing things like that? You know, have you found you've been able to kind of move around a little bit or has it shut stuff down? Um, in the beginning, of course, it was a shutdown completely. Um, but I mean, me personally, I got a little black foot, so nothing shuts down for me. <laughs> 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 
But to be on a more realistic note, yeah, in the beginning, things slow down. And then, you know, you learn to adapt. I think that um, any anybody or anything that is successful mm -hmm. learns to adapt. And um, I did learn to adapt dating through COVID. So dating apps was really what I was using anyway. <laughs> so um, at this at this point, it's kind of still what I'm using. But again, I'm not really that active on it just because, you know, I'm just gonna let God do his thing, you know. <laughs> I'm tired of looking, it's exhausting. <laughs> yeah, apps are, apps can be like, not only can they be exhausting, they can be overwhelming. Mm. Yes, yes, very. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm doing this. I really don't want this conversation to end, but um, you know, a couple things in terms of like, you know, um. I just want people to know when are you launching, you know, let everybody know how they can find you, you know, plug everything you got to plug, let people know, you know. Of course, of course. Um, so I'm launching Pure Romance by Empress Bianca this Sunday. Um, it, it's kind of like a private RSVP thing. So, um, you know, it's, there's still room available, of course. I can be found um, doing that on Instagram and Facebook, Instagram at empress.romance and Facebook at Pure Romance by Empress Bianca. Um, and then of course, Annalise Entertainment and Beauty will be launching in the summertime. Um, and honestly, it's, it's COVID pending. It's just one of those things that just like every other event planner, or even establishment that offers the in entertainment, uh, we can't really do anything until we're really legally cleared to. Um, so you got to play it by ear. Exactly. As of right now, we're shooting for summer, and for whatever reason, if we can't live until fall, then unfortunately, that's just what we'll go by. But as of right now, we're shooting for summer, <laughs> and um, I can also be found there on Instagram at um, Empress which the name is a little off. <laughs> that's a great way of telling it. Where did you come up with that name? When I first Good question. That's a, see, you are asking bomb.com <laughs> questions tonight. I'll tell you that right now. Anamnesis. Um, so I was looking up synonyms. I'm really, like, I'm a writer, so I'm always looking for new words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I was looking up synonyms to um, memory, the word memory. Um, um, and I found anamnesis, meaning uh, a memory that lasts for a lifetime, which is a, a spiritual, it's a spiritual connection to it because a lifetime um is not literally through a, a body it's really a spiritual thing through a soul mm -hmm. um so i found that anamnesis you know is lifetime memories it's like what yeah that's what i do like yeah like everyone's always like b remember that time b remember that time b you crazy <laughs> oh b it's like every time i get around people are like oh b remember that time it's like okay it's about the memories. <laughs> so that's where I found Anamnesis or how I came up with Anamnesis. But um, Instagram is empress.anamnesis. And my main page, of course, which shows it all, shows me just as a brand individual, um, pure romance and Anamnesis Entertainment is at empress.beyondyou, which is empress.beyonu. Okay. And I, you know, that name does not come from, I have to put that out there because I, I've gotten questions about, uh, excuse you, who do you think you're beyond? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, um, I personally like to think of myself as just always being um, one step ahead of life in general. I'm a planner. I organize and plan for a living, literally. Um, mm -hmm. My main job, my, my job that actually pays the bills right now is as an executive assistant. So it's just in my nature to always plan and always you know, have the answer for what's next. So beyond you is really about that. Like, you know, always, always being ready for what's next. Even if I'm not putting it out there, I've got it. I've got it done already. It's ready. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that. Ain't got to get ready or ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. Actually. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I like the names. Are you, are you like for someone who I kind of feel like that too. Like there's a lot in the name of what you put out there, especially with your projects and your businesses. Mm -hmm. Therapeutic is that process for you? Oh, extremely, to be honest with you. Also, you know, um, kind of touching base a little earlier, 
as being a, a black woman in America who does suffer from mental health issues, it helps so much. You know, everything that I discovered that I'm good at, I have tried to incorporate it in the business um, as realistically as I possibly can. And to see it all come to life is really just something that um, is is beyond me. <laughs> so, so it's definitely it's definitely um, you know a confident booster itself. But um, but yeah, I <laughs> I like that. Yeah, it's something I, I one of those things I picked up on too. And, and like these names, you know, they're very creative. You can. Mm -hmm. Story behind it. There's something there, you know, where they're not generic. It's always a meaning. I love that. I love that because yeah. not whether that they find something easy to go to, but no, I thought that was dope. So I really, I appreciate that, you know, you doing that. So thank you. I get it. Yeah. Um, so bef before we go, I know, man, we pushing time. We get the conversation so fast. Like, we just have yeah. more fun with it, you know? <laughs> um, so, I mean, also, because I know. I, I want to ask you this too, going on like more like the business side. Um, okay. and a lot of conversation I've been seeing is in terms of like people want to start business, entrepreneurship, things like that. So I wanted to ask you as I have a fellow entrepreneur here, what was the actual like, how difficult did you find it difficult actually saying, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to file a business, going through that entire process? Like, I just want people to know like what the reality of is, you know. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of information floating out there. A lot of it's not good. So I just could oh, use oh yeah. It. Oh yeah. Um <laughs> I will tell you right now, um, where I am today is not where I visioned myself when I first started. Um, you will always be going back to your plan, per se, because um any any good business that will be successful should have a plan. Um, so you'll always be revising your plan. Any great plan should always be continuously revised, upgraded, um, mm -hmm. and you should always make it um, in tune to the closest to how you see it really being. Um, it was a difficult journey for me. <laughs> it took me a while because in the beginning, Ananisa's Entertainment and Beauty wasn't even Ananisa's Entertainment and Beauty. It was Ananisa's adult entertainment and events. Yeah. It was something that was offering mobile bartending services. Um the of course the dancing, the three different types of dancing and party um party planning services, you know, event planning mm -hmm. services. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm and I'm passionate about all of those, still very much so. You know, um I'm a certified bartender mm -hmm. um and I've planned many of parties and events. But when I really thought about it, I was like B, you, you really have to like kind of stay focused on a little tighter niche. And, and then I, you know, revised the plan completely, end up changing the name. Um, you know, I realized that throwing the name, throwing adult inside of the title makes it sound a little pornish. Um, so, you know, all of these are, lear we're learning curves, you know, it's just like, hell, I didn't, you know, of course I thought of adult being like mature, but putting it out there, it sounds pornish. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, those things matter when you're trying to advertise or even, you know, something as simple as your name could come off as like a porn company. It's like, uh, you know, mm. so it was definitely quite a wave for me. I will say it was not an overnight thing. Um, even pure romance, um, I would say literally last year, 2020, I didn't even know anything about pure romance. So that just goes to show how fast I learned about it. Um, educated myself on it, um, got into the business and started literally just in January alone. And I'm having so much fun with it too. And everyone I'm educating as well, they're having so much fun, learning so much. And I haven't even done my official launch yet. So yeah. <laughs> it's coming. So it is coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, um, so, you know, I know you said you got like a kind of like a invite only launch thing going. Is it, is it virtual, right? <laughs> It is virtual. It is invite only for females um, or oh. anyone who identifies as a woman. Um, okay, never mind. All right. Yes, yeah, so or anyone who identifies as a woman. Um, we, you know, um, we definitely open, you know, open arms to to participate. Um, 
I feel like it's an opportunity for everyone to learn, honestly, be educated, have some fun, you know, sip mm-hmm. some wine virtually, laugh, you know, via Zoom. <laughs> yeah. um, and then I'm giving away free stuff as well. So, you know, we're spinning a wheel, um, giving away a free prize. That's cool. Um, yeah. Wow. So I'm definitely glad to blast it. I'm glad to let some folks know, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun. Before you go. For the people listening, y'all might not understand. For the people watching this on YouTube, I wish, like, I, I got to ask, that bed, your bed, <laughs> is, it looks so exquisite. I love it. It looks you. immaculate. It does. It does. If y'all, I wish I could describe this to y'all. That looks like the oh, I can <laughs> describe this. I can actually describe this. Yo, this is crazy. Okay. This is a, this is a canopy then? This if is a I'm, canopy bed, yes. Yes. There you go. <laughs> and there's a B on the wall. Like <laughs> yes, with a it, golden with a, a golden B. Yes. Like, I, golden I painted bee. it myself. <laughs> oh. I love it. so like, you know, this this has to tap into your creativity. You seem to be very creative, you know. Um, Absolutely. That that looks very aesthetically pleasing, like, you know. What does the rest of the spot look like? <laughs> like <laughs> I love it, baby. <laughs> I'm, 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 I can imagine, like, are you, you know, you're very creative. Do you do a lot of decorating? Is your space, like, very, like, personal, very, like, or, you know, things? Yes, I definitely have a feng shui in my okay. home. There's a, there's a, a dance pole right in the middle of my living room. <laughs> Um, you know, for me to practice on. Uh, but yes, there's certainly a feng shui. Right now you're seeing a royalty feng shui because this is my bedroom. And um, again, it's it's all therapeutic. You know, I, again, I just go for what makes me happy. You know, yeah, I'm a firm believer that you only live once. So if you work hard, you better play hard and reward yourself hard or else you're going to live to regret it. You know, thinking, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. And Hell, I've got enough re- regrets in life. I don't want too many more, <laughs> as long as I can help it. <laughs> I just had to point that out because yeah. <laughs> that that thing is tight. The bed, the whole back, it's it's dope. It, I wish people could see it. It is dope. I love it. So I just I just yeah. want to know that it looks really dope. It does. <laughs> um, well, before we go, because I know I want to be you know fresh about everyone's time. Um, is there anything I always like to ask? You know, is there anything you want to share if you had, you know, a young black woman that you could, you know, maybe you 10 years ago, or there was another one that you could, you could reach down. Is there any advice, anything you'd like to go to that you just want to share and let people know any advice, words of encouragement, anything? Yes, of course. Um, I'm always encouraging, you know, um, people who come my way and my closest friends to, and I think I've been saying this all night, to really go for what makes you happy. That is truly key yeah. because the moment I start doing that was the moment I found that life is just a little better. You know, you don't have to be rich and famous and in the spotlight just to be happy um, or even, you know, personality, you know, I'm sorry, popularity. You don't need any of that, honestly. You really need to go with what makes you happy as an individual. Mm-hmm. Um, the advice personally I would give is just to keep going, stay consistent, you know. Um, nothing nothing happens when, you know, you just give up. I don't know, I, I'm, a, I'm knowing a little better at this with the words of encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, quick question, quick question. What okay. are your love languages? Oh, good at it. Ooh, love languages. Um, a man who's articulate. Um, I'll be honest with you, a man or woman who is articulate. Um, hmm, well, well dressed. Um, a goal again. <laughs> 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 those goals are key um, those goals are key um i just i just feel like you know i it's it's such a it's such a turn on to see someone going for what they love you know and again it does not matter really what it is it's the fact that they're going for it it's like yes that's yeah. that's a beautiful thing that is dope yep 
I like that. Yep, Parker. Hey, David, let them let them know what. Oh, what's up? What's up? You know, let them know. You know, what... I'm out here. <laughs> okay, David. Um, I see you. Get from the side. Oh. <laughs> oh, so again, you know, thank you. I know we 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 going to skip Bob and Karen segment today. We'll do that next week. Oh, okay. Yeah, but um. Thank I'm gonna say if you guys want to, let's go for it. I'm here. Yeah, I'm all oh. in. Come on. All right, let's talk about it. Bobs and Karens. Bobs and Karens. For those who don't know, we got to talk about the crazy white folks, y'all. I'm just gonna put yep. it out there. Yep. So the ones who wilding out, we see them. We know what's going on. Yep. What you got, David? Uh, let's talk about the lady that was getting arrested. Okay, there there was a lady getting arrested in a restaurant. I think it was a mall, and. She like starts going off on this, <laughs> on the officer arresting her. And it was just so crazy. Like all of the stuff that she was just yelling and screaming. Yeah, I'm gonna and go. that, that's the one she said, you're violating my, um, what she kept, she kept you're saying. You're violating my personal, my personal person or something, like violating, personal rights. Yeah, personal rights or something she kept saying. Yeah. And then if y'all get a chance, I know I'm gonna share. I shared it on, on our Twitter page, but. Mm-hmm. Be patient with her, yo. I, yeah. That's one thing that kills me about these parents, like you, like <laughs> my black ass would have been shot. Right. Been shot me. One cop, he she he grabs her by the arm. She don't touch me. They pull him back. She pull him back. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, could you and, put, put like? And then she started like she started screaming like she was really in danger. Yeah, she started hollering. Oh, oh goodness. They finally get her outside. It's like three cops, and they're like tussling with her. Mm-hmm. It, it's just it's mind boggling to me to see some of this stuff like so much your vibe, you know, like stuff that is, you know, who said it the best? Ben Crump said it the best. Attorney Ben Crump, I saw him the other day. He said, um, there are two justice systems in this country. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that. I had, to, I had to put that back out there, but it's like mm-hmm. he treated this woman with so much care, mm. so much, you know, patience and grace, right? And she's clearly doing something wrong. You know, I, I, yeah, yeah. About to get me frustrated. So just, just know that if that was any that if that was any of us, our faces would have been in the ground. Oh yeah, right in the mall. No, oh, they, yeah. they, I wouldn't. They would have shot me in the store. When she was going, they would have shot me in the store for it. Like that, that's how crazy it was. We got murdered for way less than that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And two or three cops later, I don't even. Did we even see her actually get arrested by the end of the video? Did he actually cuff her? I don't think so. I don't remember watching her actually being handcuffed at the end of the video. Oh, she was definitely handcuffed. handcuffed and three they, did, they did eventually. Think about that. Three grown men cops. It took three of them to get this. This woman had to be late 50s, almost 60s. Mm-hmm. To get this woman's hands behind her back. It took three right. of them. Come on, fam. No, I'm not wrong. Mm-hmm. That thing I'm yeah. not. And that's just not acceptable. Yeah, it ain't. And then let's talk about. <laughs> I laughed so hard at this one. Oh. There was an. <laughs> the, we got. We had a Bob that was like. I think he was kicked out of the store because he he had a mask, but he wouldn't put it on. Put it on. Yeah. And then, he ended up. He just kept yelling at this as the security guard was escorting him out. He. First of all, the security guard didn't touch him. He just said, "Hey, let's let's go." Dude just kept screaming back at him, "You're a bitch." Oh wow! And this was so funny because I know if the security go- if like if the Bob if Bob like put his hands like up or anything, if he tried anything, he would have been on the ground on the floor. Yeah, like just yeah. <laughs> just begging for life. <laughs> so we got those two but also I have to point out the yeah. aftermath of all these people getting arrested the people that stormed the country. um the lady yeah. one, oh, the lady who um the one lady the real estate agent from Texas who took the private jet to fly mm-hmm. out she gets arrested I see her I think she went to today show or something this morning wait hold on private jet a private jet I mean Instagram the what whole- are you doing storming the capitol Private jet, she takes a private jet from Texas to DC. Stormed it. They got pictures, Instagram clips of her to hold on. We did this. She got next to the broken glass. This is a glorious day for us. We won all mm-hmm. this. 
the catcher, of course. She gets it right. <laughs> now she's looking for like she's on the Today Show. I think it was this morning mm. for Trump the partner. So they got her. They're doing the interview. She's on. Um, she's like, I don't think I was doing anything wrong. So then the um, interview was <laughs> on Instagram. Well, ma'am, you said um, life or death. You know, you're willing to die for this. Well, I didn't really mean that. I was just fighting for. Well. You were standing next to the pictures. You got inside, so they keep bringing up all this stuff contradicting to what she was saying. Mm-hmm. And she just she had no answer. Mm-hmm. Now, again, she's now. They, what do you want to say to Trump, President Trump? Could you please pardon me? I've supported you all this time, and now you know I really think you should know. You just help us out, like no. You got to hear the sad part about that. Watch what? it happen. Watch it happen. Um, well, I think what's happening some legal issues here. Mm-hmm. They want to delay a lot of these proceedings. You know. Yeah. It's, there may be certain stipulations where you can't pardon if you haven't been convicted, right? Something like right. that. We're going to get to that point where, I mean, my man got like one more day. We're going to see what he's going to do with his one more right. day. Right. Also, I don't think, but see, the thing about him is, like, like, yeah. I don't think he gives a damn about her. Yeah, no, no. Oh, I know he don't. Right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like, so she pleading for him. He's looking at her like, yeah, right. Yo. Right. I'm sorry, Sam. Who are you? He pardoned his, his crony joke. <laughs> <laughs> he got his out of there. He pardoned all of his cronies. Mm-hmm. Come on, chick. You ain't getting that. Mm-hmm. Like, sure. oh, I don't know you like that. <laughs> That's just as bad as this this one Karen. <laughs> that um, I Talk actually exactly. I just recently I just heard only the video clip. Uh, but it sounds so pathetic. It's just so pathetic how these people really think that they, they've done nothing wrong and this was their absolute right. Yep. And it's so sickening when you see these things and hear these things because there's one Karen. And I kind of laughed, even though there's nothing funny about it, but it was how she was saying it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the reporter was like, you know, what's going on? What happened? She's like, I got pepper sprayed. <laughs> and and they were like, they were like, well, 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 what happened? What were you How doing? Did you exactly. And she was like, I was just, I was just going into the Capitol and they pepper sprayed me. And they were like, well, why did you go in there? And she was like, because it was revolutionary. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, revolutionary. Is that what you thought? <laughs> Is that what you call trespassing? Wow. Is that- wow. <laughs> like a huge wow. Because We've mm-hmm. all seen some crazy mess, but then it's just like, you know, now I'm going to sit back and just sip my tea because you really thought this was revolutionary. All right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm telling you. Also, I- also, all of you had your phones on you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. And that's how they're all getting caught. They, they really thought they why, did. Why are you bringing your phone to a crime? Like They really didn't think they were committing a crime. They really, they really didn't. They, they had no clue. They, I really believe some of them probably knew, some of them did know. But there's a lot of people, the cronies that latch on like these these girls. They really thought this was their constitutional right. They were this was the revolution. First of all, they thought they were going to win. That was another. So they win thought, what? <laughs> another thing. Right. <laughs> they were going to delay the vote and bully them long enough to where they were going to they were not going to they were they were not going to like the vote was going to get overturned or something. How like. It's it's over. It's over, fam. It's over. It was, it was over before that, right? No. <laughs> but that that's again. That's what you get. You got mob mentality. You got all these people. They brainwashed them. They really thought they were. Everyone's on social media. They were chronicling this moment. Mm-hmm. People were taking pictures. They had pictures, oh. pictures in there going. They was going crazy. Stuff. How dumb are you? Who oh. says? Oh, yo, we better we better go rob a bank. Hey, <laughs> we'll, we'll tell you how it goes. <laughs> Pretty much. Who does, who does that? Idiots. Idiots. <laughs> Bob and Karen's apparently. Bob and Karen's. Mm-hmm. And then they got the news that came out yesterday today. They record. They're recording themselves in the Senate floor, stealing documents, and they're taking documents. And one of the guys says, "Oh yeah, Cruz wants us to get that. He'll take that." They're talking about Senator Ted Cruz. They're talking mm-hmm. about him giving the approval. They want, they're they taking the stealing documents on the Senate floor. Wow. Classified documents in their own camera saying, yeah, Cruz, yeah, get that. He will, yeah, take that, take that. 
Him and the crew's okay with this stuff. They've been in communication with this guy. Yeah, and now you're implicated into a crime. Biggest dry snitch ever. <laughs> <laughs> dry snitch with my man on camera. Man. He said, he said, take it. He said, take it. These people were so oblivious. They really didn't, they really thought that this was going to be Like you're all not about to get fed time when a new administration comes in. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, you brought a you brought a phone to a crime scene yeah. or to to like commit a crime. And then yeah, you're documenting that there. crime. Yeah, like, like I, I ordered the car way the machine line the other week. I said you don't take the phone to a lick. That's what we did. So I'm sorry. As a black in the black community, this, we laughed. Um, this has been a joke. Oh, yeah. I don't care. This is I don't watch much TV. This has been reality TV for me all the whole all week. Like absolutely. Watching. This is this is my this is my survivor. This is my housewife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching this crying and laughing the whole time. Like mm -hmm. better than this, you idiots. Like, good luck with y'all. Oh man. Good luck doing <laughs> good luck doing time. <laughs> oh yeah. Bad <laughs> time in federal prison? Dang. Federal prison. Yeah, Dang. but I didn't know about federal prison. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the memes. I don't know if I've ever seen Half Bait when he gets locked up and the dude Nasty Nate is trying to rape him in jail. <laughs> I see the dudes and the dude and like Nasty Nate behind him. I'm sorry, that stuff is hilarious to me. Man. Good luck, y'all. Good luck. <laughs> oh, hey. They losing their jobs. You know, they losing diamond the mouth snitching on them and stuff. Like it's getting ridiculous. Yo, did you see? <laughs> there was one dude that was like that, like saw his ex and he. He, he like called up. He was like, hey, yo, I know exactly who that is. She lives here. She does this. Yep. The ex. The ex. The ex <laughs> oh, the man. The ex husband. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, what was you, you? How dirty is that? What was you late on child support payments or something? You had to. <laughs> Not late on child support. Man. What did you do to this woman? She straight dimed you out. And it was one of the early ones, too. She got him early. Like, man. This woman, she called FBI like Crime Stoppers and snitched on you. Like, that is also, also, why are you committing crimes when you're already like wanted for other stuff? That's dumbasses again. That's what I'm saying. Like these people, this is, this is. It's funny. It's not funny, but it's funny how it's funny. Black people. That's no, funny. We know these. People. We know what's up. Like they should right. Like every mm. black person must damn near paralegal. Because we absolutely. Like, this is our. We family. have to be. This is, this is not their reality. They not. They not. They're not built for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope y'all learn real fast, white folks, Bob's and Karens out there. Y'all ain't built for this life, y'all. At all. It's about to set y'all back a whole generation. <laughs> <laughs> They'll feel it. They'll feel it. We know. I'm sorry. We got four hundred years, five hundred years of coping with this. Y'all short. Good luck. Mm -hmm. Good luck. So, yeah, no sense. Get ready. <laughs> Nasty Nate is coming. <laughs> oh, oh man. What is it? Oh, man. They're going to cancel my show. You can't cancel me. My <laughs> can't cancel us. <laughs> can't cancel me my own show. Good luck, y'all. So, all right, I got to wrap this up. We have it. <laughs> we have it too much fun. You see, we're talking about white people. Yeah, but, um, again, Empress. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. We are very <laughs> grateful. Whenever you want to come back, whenever you just Please. want to talk, there's so many ways, there's so many things I, we could go on. I just, you know, from what you got going on business, just all kinds of stuff. You mm -hmm. know, um, thank you, one, two, you know, anything we can do to help. Because that's another thing. Absolutely. Difference. Anything we can do to help what you got going on, like I said, I know we're going to try to promote we're going to try to get this stuff out there. I might be making mm -hmm. some practices. You never know. <laughs> so, that's what this is all about. You know, uh, right. family, you know, appreciate it. Right. Of course. Thank you so much again for having me. Um, anybody who knows me knows that I love my people. I support my mm -hmm. people. 
Um, I even got a highlight on my Instagram page of just, you know, over the last year, me just doing numbers supporting Black businesses. Yeah. So Dang. thank you so much. It means a lot that, you know, it's just been reciprocated even just a little bit, you know, through this podcast. It's meant a lot to me. So thank you for having me. You guys are Absolutely. Black. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> That's for sure. It's <laughs> for everybody that. Black. Yep. Uh, we are so. <laughs> let me close this out. Don't go anywhere though. So I just, I just want the people to know. You know, again, y'all know where to find us. Communitycoalition.com. Check us yep. on the podcast. We're streaming everywhere. Check us on the YouTube channel. You can watch this. You can listen to this. All right. previous ones. You know, we will be back next week. Hit us up on our socials. Yeah, we, we argue. We fight. You know, we be people fight. Here. People be fighting us. Yeah. <laughs> we're out of my squad now. You don't want to see me on Twitter now because we argue. Yep. Um, <laughs> no, no, don't go anywhere because I want to say something. But till next week, y'all. I'm gonna end this recording. Peace.